Hello, and welcome to Operating Systems Frequently Asked Questions and Answers. So let's get started. Question number one. What are the main command line interfaces for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS? The correct answers are, as of today, the most popular operating systems and their command line interface names are, for Windows OS, Command Prompt and PowerShell. For Linux OS, Bash or Born Again Shell. For Mac OS, Terminal. Question number two. Which command can you use to change directory in Linux? The correct answer is the CD or change directory command. The CD command moves you into a different directory. To move out of that directory, use CD along with the path to some other location, or use double dots to backtrack or return home to navigate from there. Question number three. Which commands can be used to view a list of all files in a directory in Linux? And the correct answer is the ls command is used to list files. The ls command can be used by adding the flags l and a to view a long list of all directories in two different ways, together, dash la, or separately, dash l, dash a. Question number four. How do you delete a directory in bash? And what command is used in both Linux and Windows CLI to create a new directory? To the first question, the correct answer is to delete, i.e. remove, a directory and all the subdirectories and files that it contains, navigate to its parent directory, and then use the command rm-r, followed by the name of the directory you want to delete, e.g. rm-r directory-name. And for the second question, the correct answer is mkdir. mkdir is a command used in a command line interface, CLI, to create a subdirectory or folder. The name mkdir stands for make directory. This command is available in most operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Question number five. In bash, which commands can be used to view the contents of a document? And which command can be used to search files for certain words? To the first question, the correct answer is the cat and less commands are used to view the contents of a file. And for the second question, the correct answer is the grep command can be used to search files for certain words. Also, the asterisk wildcard command can be used to filter by a specific pattern. Question number six. In Linux, which commands can be used to append a word into a file? And the correct answer is if you want to append some lines of text into a file interactively, you can use cat with the append operator right shift and a file name cat right shift example dot txt. After running this command, you can enter the text you want to append and press control plus D to exit. Question number seven. In Linux, which command is used to pipe the output of one command into another? And which command can be used on Windows CLI to see the first 10 lines of a file? To the first question, the correct answer is the pipe shell command. The pipe command is used to pipe the output of one command into another. And for the second question, the correct answer is the head command. The flag dash head of the cat command displays n number of lines from the beginning of the file. Example, cat file underscore name dot txt dash head 10. Question number eight. What are the basic Linux file permissions? and you're given the output of an ls-l of a file in Linux. What does the first character of output signify? To the first question, the correct answer is the three basic file permissions in Linux are read, write, and execute. And for the second question, the correct answer is the first character in output reflects the type of file. This is the first character and specifies if the file is a directory, file, character device, or block device. Question number nine. You're given the output of an ls-l of a file in Linux. Who does the last trio of bits in the file permission and attributes refer to? And the correct answer is, the last trio of permission bits refers to the permission of all other users on the machine. Question number 10. You want to change the permissions of a file in Linux. What command could you use to grant write access to the owner of the file without changing other permissions? The owner currently only has read access to the file. And the correct answer is, to change file and directory permissions, use the command chmod or change mode. The owner of a file can change the permissions for user, u, group, 
G, or others O by adding plus or subtracting minus the read, write, and execute permissions. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay motivated until the end. And please don't forget to check the next videos about IT support, operating systems frequently asked questions and answers. Bye for now. Thank you.